Hi there, and welcome to another video on Essentials uh, formulas for the electrical level 3. So let's gather all of our different coloured pens. Now this video um, is, contains many formulas that will help you uh, completely answer an impedance question. So we'll call this impedance uh, further and you'll see why. So let's start as sw switch pens, let's get my red pen. So we have um, current, different ways we can work out current. Now good old Ohm's law says I equals V over R. But we can have anything that is uh, measured in ohms. So that could be XC. We can have I equals V over XL or I equals V over Z. Now it just depends what your question is. If you have a question that just has a capacitor then you'll be using this one. If you have a question that just has an inductor, you use this one. And if you have a question that has uh, both, uh, if you've got a resistor, a capacitor and an inductor, you will be using I equals V over Z. Now to work out the power, we then do uh, power. We always do I squared R to work out power. We then need to work out uh, phase angle, uh, power factor, sorry, before we work out our phase angles. We have power factor equals capital R over Z. We then need to work out our phase angle from our power factor. So, phase angle equals, now this is the inverse of cosine, cosine minus 1 is the inverse of cosine, times the power factor. So in your calculator, if you push shift cosine, and then it will display this, cos minus 1, open brackets. You then put the power factor answer for this one into the bracket, close bracket, and push equals. We now can work out the um, volt drop. So I'm going to call this uh, VD, volt drop. So volt drop at R, the resistor, equals IR. We then have uh, volt drop at a capacitor equals I times XC and, and then we have a volt drop how do we work out volt drop at an inductor is current times XL and they are all of the formulas. Uh, what do we've got? There's actually there's one more. So it's kind of combining um, power. So we can also work out power um, is I times V times PF. Another way to work out power. Right, so we've got lots of kind of letters here, haven't we? So we've got, um, I might write a bit small, so we've got um, I equals, and we've got V, and we've got XL, XC, um, R, and what else do we've got? Z. Um, PF. I think that's all of them. 
So let's write down what they mean. So I stands for current. V voltage at XC is inductive reactance. XL, that's uh, sorry, XC is capacitive reactance. R is good old fashioned resistance. Z is impedance. And PF stands for power factor. Now let's do the SI units. Now current, hopefully you will remember current. Current is measured in amps, volts. Voltage reactance is measured in ohms. Resistance, ohms, impedance, ohms. And the power factor, there is no SI unit for power factor, but be aware this value here, power factor value, is always less than one. Thank you for watching the video. Remember, we've got plenty of other videos on all of the other tests that you can do, and there are also many videos on cable calculations and all sorts of things that you're going to need to know to complete level two and level three in electrical installation. Now, if you want my tabs that I have, on my BS7671, visit the website electricalstudent.co.uk where you can purchase those. Also on the website, loads of free stuff, loads of practice tests, mock exam questions and such like. Working with electrical insulation guys, remember, be safe. Most importantly, listen to your lecturers. He or she definitely knows best. Take care guys, see you soon.